ABC Big 2 News. Developing now at 10, we start with an Odessa family who is picking up the pieces tonight after a fire damaged their home earlier today. The family says flames ignited inside of a backyard shed before spreading to their home. That fire happened this morning around 7 on Glenda Avenue, close to Andrews Highway and 57th in Odessa. Good evening, I'm Rob Took. Tonight, that family is now asking the community for help. And ABC Big 2's Avi Cargloth is joining us live from their home tonight. Avi, you sat down with them to talk about the next steps forward. Yeah, thankfully, nobody was injured in the fire. Everyone made it out safely. That's all good. Still, the family lost some important items in the fire today that they'll need help to replace. We just jumped out of bed out of nowhere. Gracie Garcia and her family have lived at 5611 Glenda Avenue for three years. The family has a lot of mouths to feed between seven people, three turtles, three birds, and seven dogs. This morning, one of those family members served as a distressing alarm clock. We heard my son yelling, my oldest son was yelling. Everybody was asleep that the house was on fire. He said the shed, so we're thinking it was our next door neighbor and I walk outside and it's ours. So we run in there, we get all my kids up and we come outside to get my animals out and we just call 911. Garcia said Odessa Fire and Rescue cited an electrical shortage in their shed as the cause of the fire, which spread to the back of the house. The family lost new windows that hadn't been put up yet, children's bed mattresses, pots and pans, and their Christmas tree. However, they didn't lose what was most important. That's, that's what I'm grateful for, that me, my kids, my husband, we're all okay. We're all healthy, my, my animals are fine. I mean, there is no price on that. The family needs help from the community, specifically with replacing their windows and mattresses. While the fire has created needs for the family to address, it has also given Garcia some perspective on her community and what matters to her the most. You know, I'm very grateful uh, for the neighbors as well that they came out, you know, calls, they called the 911 before we even did. You know, and I appreciate that, but what I learned from this is life is short. We're here today, tomorrow we don't know. And well, since the house has no electricity, the family will be staying with other relatives for now. If you want to help the family out, we'll be sharing details on yourbasin.com. Reporting live in Odessa, Avi Kargloth, ABC Big 2 News. Call my also developing now at 10, new video has been released tonight of a shooting in Lubbock. It shows the moments before a father is shot dead during an argument over child custody. Now the Attorney General is investigating what happened, and as ABC's Zoreen Shah reports tonight, so far, no charges have been filed. But we must warn you, the video is disturbing to watch. This morning, the wife of a man shot dead during a child custody dispute in Texas, speaking out exclusively to GMA. He would do anything for time with his kids. According to Jennifer Reed, the deadly shooting happening when Chad Reed tries to pick up his nine-year-old son from his ex-wife, Christina. Her new partner, Kyle Carruth, shooting Reed after a tense argument. Jennifer captured this video from her car, showing Chad arguing with his ex. You keep trying to keep my son from me. Caruth joins the exchange, bringing out a gun. 911, call 911. Caruth shoots at Chad's feet. Then Chad appears to reach towards the gun. That's when Caruth shoots two fatal bullets. Did you ever think that this could happen? No, I thought it was like a stun gun or a taser gun or something like who's going to bring out they're having a discussion about a custody thing caruth's attorney writing in part all texans may lawfully brandish a firearm to protect themselves though reed came unarmed he announced his intent to kill kyle caruth with kyle's own gun and took immediate powerful action to do so which was unsuccessful jen's lawyer matthew harris making the case that self-defense does not apply. It, whenever Mr. Cruz brought that firearm out, he's the one that escalated and provoked the situation. 
Experts say Caruth's actions dramatically altered the dispute. When he fired the initial shot at their feet, that could be seen as some form of aggravated assault. So we're going to have to get more details as this story unfolds. According to ABC's local station, the district attorney recused their office. I feel like Chad deserves justice. Every morning I wake up without him and every night I go to bed without him <laughs> and it didn't have to happen. Jennifer is also fighting to get custody of her husband's kids. She's frustrated because the man who was partly caring for them also killed their dad. So far, no charges have been filed. Zoreen Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles. As we continue to follow this developing story, you can stay up to date on our website, yourbasin.com. Now, your big two forecast first. Well, friends, the weekend has arrived, and today's temperature is not bad for the basin. In fact, today is actually the last day of rain chances for West Texans. Speaking of West Texans, everyone was able to enjoy 66 degree temperatures. Usually around this time, West Texans are definitely used to 63 degree temperatures, so just three degrees short of what we're used to. I have more of today's sunny and warm forecast later on the show. Back over to you, Rob. All right, thank you for that, Bridget. Across Texas tonight, investigators are looking into what caused an 18-wheeler to plow into a store, killing its driver. That crash happened north of Beaumont and Lufkin. Police say the driver veered off the roadway, traveling hundreds of yards before crashing into and driving through an auto zone business. Now, a state trooper says the truck weighed 77,000 pounds with bananas on board. The semi would eventually stop in the park right behind the business. And employees said they knew their work got hit, but wasn't aware of just how bad the damage was. Somebody hit the store, so that's kind of all we knew until we got further along and got more information. And then my boss actually sent me pictures, and I was like, holy cow. Now workers say the building will be demolished because of the damage. One employee even said she is thankful she didn't come into work early that day like she normally does. Now developing, now developing tonight at 10, we are remembering a former police officer turned security guard who was killed during an armed robbery near San Francisco. Police say Kevin Ishida died protecting a television news crew from a gunman. Our Camilla Barca has those details. This is Kevin Nishida. He was an armed guard for Star Protection Agency based out of Oakland, California. Nishida also worked as a police officer in San Jose, Hayward, Colma, and for the Oakland Housing Authority. Nishida leaves behind a wife, two children, and three grandchildren. The shooting happened just before 1230 Wednesday afternoon in Oakland near the intersection of 14th and Harrison. That's near the 12th Street BART station and Lake Merritt. Nishida was with the Bay Area Reporter for the San Francisco news station Cron 4. They were covering a story in Oakland about a recent smash and grab break in at a business in the area. While they were doing their job, someone attempted to steal the reporter's camera equipment. The guard Nishida was shot in the lower abdomen. The reporter was not physically hurt. It is common practice for Bay Area television stations, including Cron 4 News, to send crews out with security guards while covering stories. In the past, Bay Area news stations have been targeted for their camera equipment. And that was Camilla Barker reporting as of tonight, no suspects are in custody. Dangerous toys could end up in your stocking this holiday season. Coming up tonight, a newly released report gives a warning about which ones to look out for. And well, friends, today was the last day of rain chances in the Permian Basin. Will tomorrow's temperatures make you smile? I'll have that answer after the break. And it's basketball season. We'll show you if one of our local high school teams could keep their unbeaten run going. Suddenlink's best holiday deal ever. Power all your new holiday devices with one gig internet for the low price of $49.99 a month. And as a treat, unwrap a $300 Visa prepaid card. HBO Max included on us for one year and a free Wi-Fi extender. Plus, get Suddenlink stream with your favorite shows and streaming apps all in one device. But this deal ends December 5th. Get the speed and reliability of our fastest internet at our lowest price of the season. And with optimum flexibility from Suddenlink, there are no contracts or hidden fees. Visit Suddenlink.com today. 
Shop Ashley Home Store's Black Friday Mattress Inventory Blowout. Save up to 50% off clearance mattresses. Plus, find door busters starting at $99. Or get a free adjustable base with select mattresses. Ends Monday at Ashley Home Store. It's time with our families. And with our friends. It's what we love. We are Cavenders, and this is how we live. Our Christmas kickoff sale is going on now, and you can get 10 bucks off men's and ladies' area jeans and 15% off men's area shirts. And with your area mail-in rebate, you can get up to 40 bucks off your area purchase. Going on now at Cavenders. Music City Mall is a Christmas wonderland full of food, shopping, and fun. Kids, teens, and adults will love the brand new MCM Rink and Roll Skating Rink now open. Shop over 100 merchants, including Dillard's, JCPenney, Burlington, and the At Home Decor Superstore. From shoes to jewelry and perfume, find a gift for everyone in your life. And don't stress about shipping delays. Music City Mall Odessa, a family destination this holiday season, where you have it all. Mark your calendars, Saturday, December 4th, it's Bear Claw's Christmas Open House. Reps from our best brands will be here to help you choose that perfect Christmas gift. Andrew Wellings with Wusthoff, Harry Rosenblum with Kikuichi, Benjamin Rios with Kangsan, and Chris Shires with Border Town Blades, all coming to Midland to see you. Hundreds of items discounted, some up to 40%, and I'll be giving away merchandise all day long. So come down to Bear Claw, Saturday, December 4th, for our Bear Claw Christmas Open House. Black Friday savings continued this weekend at Ashley Home Store. Save 25% off your first item plus 20% off the rest of your purchase. Plus, save on doorbusters starting at $2.99 all weekend long. Don't miss it. Ends Monday. Only at Ashley Home Store. Watch Samantha Smarechniak and meteorologist Ryan DePhillips at 11.30. Your authority. We warn you first. Well, friends, the weekend is here, and today's temperature is not bad for any kind of family fun. With it being Thanksgiving weekend, we did have some rain in the basin, actually, not in Midland and Odessa, but in other areas like at Big Spring, and then also Hobbs, Carlsbad, and even our friends down below us in Marfa and in Hobbs. Today's actually the last day for some chances of some rain showers because the upcoming week is actually going to be really nice. And speaking of really nice temperatures, today West Texans were able to enjoy 66 degrees temperatures usually around this time in November West Texans are used to 63 degrees so just three degrees warmer than what we're used to but not as warm as how we were back in 1949 when we were sitting at a high 85 degrees taking a look at our lows we came in warm for that as well 46 degrees for our lows usually around this time West Texans are definitely used to 37 degree temperatures so definitely not too bad for the basin actually speaking of the basin let's take a look at everyone else's high temperatures for the most part Everyone was in their, you know, upper 60s. Big Spring, 67 degrees. Seminole cooled down to 61 degrees. Our friends down in Presidio actually made it up to 63 degrees, but we did have some areas that cooled down today. 52 degrees in Marfa, and then we also had an Alpine at 59 degrees. Definitely not too bad whatsoever. As we make our way into, ev into the evening, it is going to continue to cool down. It's going to be a little bit cloudy and somewhat chilly. We'll be dipping into our 30s at 38 degrees. Unfortunately, you can't take a look at the stars only because it's going to be a partly cloudy kind of evening. And actually, speaking of the clouds, as we make our way into Sunday, we aren't going to have any clouds whatsoever. Only in Marfa and in Alpine, just a little bit of some neighborhoods. But for the most part, we'll be waking up to some, you know, some sun, some blue sky. So definitely not too bad at all. And as we continue on with our Sunday around, you know, dinner, not dinner time, but, you know, lunch time, we're going to continue to have no clouds whatsoever. So that means what, you guys? A sunny Sunday. And with sunny Sundays come some really good temperatures. In the morning, we're going to wake up to a dry 41 degrees. Then by noon, we're going to increase to 59. And then 4 p.m., we'll be sitting at a nice and warm 62 degrees. But then we get into our evening, and it's going to be clear. So definitely opposite of what we're going to see tonight. Very clear night, 50 degrees. Perfect enough to take a look at the stars. But if you do so, be sure to grab a blanket because 50 degrees is a little bit cold. But not only that, 
With some good temperatures mean some outdoor activity. Our podcaster reads that our tree pollen low, grass low, weeds low, overall putting us at a overall of a low level for pollen. So definitely not too bad whatsoever. We're going to wake up in our morning at 40 degrees, a very cool start, winds traveling 10 to 15 miles per hour. But by the time we make our way into that seven day forecast, we'll see that we'll make it to a nice and warm and sunny 63 degrees. And then come Monday, that's where we're going to increase to our 70s. Rob, that's not bad whatsoever. We do love some sun. Absolutely, Bridget. And I must say, you know what? The nice weather for shopping. It made exactly. for a good time for a lot of people to go outside. That is true. Yes, Cyber Monday is on Monday. 71 degrees. Get your shopping stuff and then go on out and have some fun. <laughs> I absolutely agree. Well, thank you for that, Bridget. You're welcome, Rob. I think it's super important to support like your community and everything. Across the country today, small businesses got a helping hand from shoppers. It is Small Business Saturday. Now in its 12th year, it's a campaign started by American Express. Researchers say this year's campaign comes at a critical time, where a number of small stores are dealing with the effects of COVID-19 shutdowns, supply chain issues, labor shortages, and even inflation. They're the ones who are sponsoring the local Little League teams and, and helping out with, with charitable organizations, and they are providing countless jobs. Now, this holiday shopping season is expected to be one for the record books. The National Retail Federation says U.S. shoppers will likely spend more than $843 billion on holiday purchases in November and December. That would be a record high. Well, new at 10 this weekend marks the start of the holiday shopping season, and that means it's time to start looking at some gifts. But for parents, that also means there are some toys to watch out for. ABC's Lauren Linder breaks down this year's Dangerous Toys report. Kids get into everything. They'll put anything in their mouth. Carrie Soderstrom knows what it's like to have a young child who likes to explore. She has three kids, ages four, six, and seven. So she does what she can to prevent her youngest from getting a hold of a potential hazard. You don't want to get something with, the teen, with tiny parts that, you know, because you can't be watching three kids all the time. According to the U.S. Public Interest Research Group's annual Trouble in Toyland report, so far researchers have recalled 15 toys this year and found more to pose dangers for children. In Hartford Friday morning, Senator Richard Blumenthal and Dr. Stephen Rogers of Connecticut Children's Medical Center discussed some examples. The damage to eardrums from a toy that is loud can be lasting and severe. Magnets ingested can be a threat to life. Dr. Rogers says scooters are causing the most injuries for kids younger than 15, and small toy parts continue to get in the mouths of little ones. If it fits in here, it's a choking hazard, and we shouldn't allow our kids less than three to have those small toys. On the web, you're more likely to come across counterfeits containing toxic chemicals or recalled toys. Just because it recalled doesn't mean some private seller isn't going to try to sell them online. But in person, you're able to touch, feel, and see what you're buying and ensure the product is age appropriate. We've dealt with our manufacturers for years and years. Everything meets um, American safety standards. So the, the chances of there being any problems are much lower. Overall, Dr. Rogers says the best gift you can give your kids is time spent together. Play with your kids and spend time with them because that's what they're going to remember when the toys are all gone. Well, ABC Big Two's Cameron Stewart is joining us now tonight. Cameron, let's talk about the Jackalopes. They have a chance to sweep, and we're hoping they're not going to choke. Yeah, a little bit lighter of a choke than in that last package, let's call it. But a back-and-forth game last night in which the Jackalopes won, handing the Shreveport Mudbugs their seventh consecutive loss. They go again tonight over at the Coliseum. Jack's trying to make it eight straight losses for the Mudbugs. And they had a special guest on hand, legendary Jack's goalie Mike Gorman with the ceremonial puck drop to get things started. First period, and it's Nick Ahern who wheels and fires the centering pass that William Marshall puts in the top shelf. Bartender, it's 1-0 Odessa just over five minutes into the game. And of course, with that, come get those carrots. Gotta love that tradition. All right, keeping it forward later in the first. Jack's dumping in. Two mud bugs run into each other, freeing up a shot from the point, which is deflected in. A wicked deflection off the stick of a mud bug, and it's Connor Kuat's goal, doubling the lead at two to nothing. 
late in the period. Ahern coming across the middle and a dangerous hit here. Knee on knee. Nick Miller gets a five minute major and a game misconduct. See you later, bud. A little early shower for you. And still at the end of this period, we got a four on four. The dying seconds of the first. Brian Kusler chases after it, wins it, drops it back for a one timer score. Buzzer beating goal. Or so we thought. The refs rule it out, saying it didn't go in in time, but the Jacks roll to a sweep anyway. And over to the hardwood, Mojo sitting at 4-0 on the season, hosting the boys from Hobbs, New Mexico. First quarter, they go straight to the big guy on the inbounds, but it's Aaron Morrow with the block. And in transition, Darius Royal finishes to put the Eagles up 15-6. Second quarter, Trey Beatty taking his man off the dribble, and we're done with the hockey highlights, but he puts his man on skates there, and the jumper cuts the lead to 18-15. to And here they get it to Ben Saldivar, and he does a little look off and an acrobatic finish. The sophomore had 10 in the first half alone. Mojo, they were looking to run all day. Beatty takes it to the rack, can't get the finish. Calvion Calicut is there. He gets the finish and takes the foul. Panthers get their first lead of the game at 23-22. Next position for, possession for Mojo. Trying to draw a foul. No call. They keep it alive. And a three from Jan Anderson goes. Mojo went up six at the break. They make a defensive stand at the buzzer to win it. And sticking with the high school football playoffs, how about those Midland Christian Mustangs taking on San Antonio Central Catholic and Brownwood today and a decisive, emphatic victory in the state semifinals. They're on to the championship game and they're going to play Dallas Parish Episcopal. That's next Saturday, December the 4th, 1 p.m. at Robinson High School just outside of Waco. So clear your plans, Mustang fans. And Texas Tech is bowl eligible after their miraculous win over Iowa State a few weeks back. And this week, it was announced new head coach Joey McGuire would retain interim head coach Sonny Cumbie as his offensive coordinator. So one regular season game left for Cumbie as the head man, and they traveled to the place McGuire worked just about three weeks ago. We send it out to Rainy Waco, where they're taking on the number eight Baylor Bears. Blake Shapin in for his first start, and he starts it off with a 61-yard touchdown pass to Treston Ebner. Baylor up 7-0 in a flash. Second quarter, tech down 10-3. Donovan Smith hit from behind, look out, fumbles the ball, almost couldn't not fumble it. Recovered by Baylor, big play from the Bears defense. Moments later, they're looking to cash in, and they do just that. Abram Smith takes it in for the four-yard touchdown. Bears up 17-10 at the break. Fourth quarter, tech down 20-10. Donovan Smith fires it up to a wide-open McLean Mannix, a guy named after the stadium in Waco. All right, maybe not. He's in for the touchdown. Red Raiders down just 20-17. Fourth quarter, same score. Shapin to Blake, to Ben Sims, excuse me, for the nine-yard touchdown. Bears up 27-17. Three seconds left. Jonathan Garibay with a chance to tie it. A perfect record on the year, but it's no good. His first miss of the season, and Baylor wins it close, 27-24. While it may seem like bleak days for the Cowboys having lost three of the last four, I assure you there's plenty of football left. But don't take my word for it. Our Mickey Spagnola and the owner, Jerry Jones, tells us why Dallas is far from done this season. Back in the day when Bill Parcells was the Cowboys head coach and we would ask him what he thinks of his team, he would always say, ask me after Thanksgiving. Well, it's after Thanksgiving. So are these Dallas Cowboys the team that won six consecutive games or are they the team that has now lost three of the last four? Cowboys owner Jerry Jones looks at this quite optimistically going forward. Uh, I'm very disappointed that we... Uh, these last four ball games uh, have uh, evolved the way we have. On the other hand, I'm going directly to how things look as we get into the last six games and hopefully into the playoffs. Uh, you have to look forward. Yesterday's is dead as Napoleon. It's gone. And so we have to look at how to improve. And the sky is not falling. Uh, when you look at the six games ahead that we have, the Calvary is coming. Boy, Jerry's got that right. Soon to return for the Cowboys are wide receivers Amari Cooper and C.D. Lamb and defensive ends 
Demarcus Lawrence and Randy Gregory. And goodness knows the Cowboys need a better pass rush. For the Silver Star Nation, I'm Mickey Spagnola here at the Star. So, Cameron, are we thinking the Cowboys are contenders this year? I'm going to have to go with yes. They're one of the most talented teams in the conference. I don't know if they're quite as good as Tampa or L.A., but they've got a lot of talent coming back. Maybe stop talking about the Super Bowl after, like, week four, though. And time will tell. All right, thank you, Cameron, for that. And coming up tonight, keeping up with your mental health is more important than ever, especially during this holiday season. We're hearing from a therapist about some ways to deal with types of stress right after the break. Time to try the brand new Golden Chick Boneless Wings. Tasty, huh? You can choose from three amazing flavors. We got original buffalo, garlic parm, and kick in Korean barbecue. Oh, you got some uh, on your face, so you might want to... Yeah, don't waste any of that. Free napkins with every order. When newsmakers want to talk to all America, they talk to News Nation. Do you think that was a good idea? If I would have known that I had to take two lives that night, I don't think I would have gone there. Why have you used hand signs that are commonly associated with white supremacists? I didn't know that the OK hand sign was a symbol for white supremacy. Newsmakers turn to the fastest growing cable news network. News Nation. News for all America. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. Take on new challenges and take it to the next level. It's the perfect time to do more in your next Chevy. Find new possibilities, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers can get 2.49% financing and $12.50 total value on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, unlock your code to claim $500 Chevy Cybercash on most Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. COVID-19 booster shots are now available in New Mexico. Why are you getting yours? I'm getting my booster shot so I can spend time with my whole family without worrying about it. I'm getting my booster with my friends so we can keep doing weekly breakfast together. So I can keep teaching without any distractions. So I can go to work for my family. I'm getting my booster shot for my family. My community. And myself. Whatever your reason, you can schedule your booster shot today at VaccineNM.org. Kathy Eastham Fine Jewelry, celebrating 40 years of extraordinary jewelry. Get ready for your day with meteorologist Ryan DePhillips. Well, the holiday season can be filled with joy and happiness, but there's no doubt it can also be stressful and especially challenging for those impacted by mental illness. Our Sarah McDonald sat down with a therapist to talk about the best ways to take care of yourself this time of year. Many of us are gathering around the Thanksgiving table today to share a meal and company. But what you might not see is the stress and anxiety family or friends may be dealing with. I think as we get closer to the holidays, I think we are, we know we're going to see extended family. We know we want to get all our shopping done. And so the stress just begins to build and build and different people have different stressors. Pat Schultz, who is an outpatient therapist with Avera, says it's important to recognize those stressors. We know what stresses us out. Um, it's usually not a surprise whether it's money or whether it's this time of year or whether it's you had a loss, a significant loss that this time of year. Making sure you're getting enough sleep and staying physically active can also help if you're dealing with stress. Exercise, that's usually the first thing to go when we are really busy. Um, even just walking around the block, getting outside, it's not even just the workout as much as it's sunshine, it's moving your body, it's getting ex oxygen into your body. She says no matter what you're dealing with this holiday season, it's okay to ask for help. I think sometimes we think because when we're depressed or when we're anxious, it doesn't show on a blood test. It doesn't show, it's not a broken bone. It doesn't show up on an x-ray, but it doesn't make it any less real and it doesn't make any of the things you feel any less real. Um, so yeah, definitely it's important to ask. It's not gonna change unless you change something. Well, it's never too late to get a bigger boat. A diver gets the scare of a lifetime in murky waters. Coming up tonight, let me show you that close encounter.
NBC Big Two Sports. Brought to you by Glasheen Valles and Enderman Injury Lawyers. I need three garlic butter bacon burgers. What's coming right up? Will someone grab me some more cheese? Keep that garlic butter coming. Burger up. Order up. Sonic garlic butter bacon burger. It's the last day of Black Friday deals at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Get great deals on Nike and Adidas apparel and footwear. Buy one, get one 50% off Magellan Outdoors fishing shirts or camo apparel. And get up to 50% off fitness equipment. Shop now at Academy Sports and Outdoors. With a Ford F-150 and an available Pro Power onboard generator, you're not just ready, you're holiday ready. Get a new F-150 with 0 for 66 and 500 bonus cash, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards, only at your Texas Ford dealer. Professionally trained account executives help businesses get results through advertising. We are a results-driven team. Our ABC Big Two account executives love helping your business tell your story to over a half a million people in West Texas. We want to be your marketing partner. We're on fire about growing your business. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. I need a Mocha Crunch Blast, please. You got it. I'm on the Mocha Crunch. We're going to need more espresso chunks. Order up. Sonic Mocha Crunch Blast. One Hawaii man has a lot to be thankful for this weekend after his close encounter with a great white shark off the Big Island. Underwater photographer Darren Verbeck was in the water when he, saw, when he thought he saw a school of fish, but something was off, and the shape off in the distance started getting bigger and bigger. Turns out what he saw was a great white shark more than 15 feet long. But the diver says he never felt in danger. The Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology says great whites, great whites may be in the area because of humpback whales who breed in Hawaiian waters from November through April. We'll be right back. We'll be right back after the break with Bridget with, has one last look at the forecast. Stay tuned. Here we go. Plug in. I'm here to to the season's brightest holiday competition. We're in it to win it. This is like an amusement park. Go big or go home. What? The Great Christmas Light Fight, Sunday on ABC. From corporate events to weddings and everything in between, Fathead Meat Company can prepare any meal for any occasion. Call Fathead Meat Company today or stop by our location to book your next event. It's time to get holiday ready with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks. Or with Ford Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. And come home in a Ford Bronco Sport. That's how you get holiday ready. Get zero for 66 and up to 1,000 bonus cash, plus complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards on select Ford SUVs, only at your Texas Ford dealer. gift card shoppers, we're going to add on an extra 10% to your gift card purchase. Loads of apparel, up to 50% off. And don't forget, free fittings through December 24th with purchase. Merry Christmas from all of us here at Golf Headquarters. Home. Sure, it's your furniture and electronics and appliances. When it comes home plus, we know it's that plus a whole lot more. It's something for everyone. Live the plus life and shop hundreds of doorbusters and deals across the store Wednesday through Sunday. Save big on TVs, laptops, furniture, gaming, and black tag appliances. Plus, get next day delivery options and personalized financing. Black Friday doorbusters and deals this Wednesday through Sunday only at Cons Home Plus. 
look at that seven day forecast. Tomorrow's gonna be a sunny Sunday with highs at 63 degrees, so definitely not too bad whatsoever. But the exciting part is that with our new week, we're gonna be in our 70s, and that's actually really great. Yesterday was pretty cold, but today, I mean tomorrow, <laughs> today was pretty cold, but tomorrow's going to be 63 degrees. Not bad whatsoever, Rob. <laughs> no, absolutely, and it's a beautiful weekend to be outside with the sun, and we got teased with a little rain today, but yeah, no rain, of course, but what a tease it was. Yes, it sure was, but hey, not bad. Just grab your shades tomorrow, you'll be right. Absolutely, Bridget, thank you for that. And that's all the time we have for news tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.